today we are going to discuss regarding the intake well jack well and rising well intakes for collecting the surface water the main function of intake works is to collect the water from the surface source and discharge the water collected by means of pumps or directly to the treatment of water intakes are structures which are essentially consist of openings grating and strainer through which the raw water from river canal or reservoir enters and carried to the sump sump well by means of conduits the water from the sump well is pumped through the rising mains to the treatment plant the following point should be kept in mind while selecting the site for a intake works where the base quality of water is available so that water is purified economically in the less time at site should not be heavy current of water which may damage the intake structure the intake can give sufficient quantity of water even in the worst conditions when the discharge of source is minimum the site of work should be easily approachable without any obstruction the site should not be located in the navigation channels as far as possible intake should be near to the treatment plant so that conveyance cost is reduced by uh, from source of the water works as far as possible the intake should not be located in the vicinity of uh, sewage disposal for avoiding the pollution of water at site sufficient quantity should be available for the future expansion of the water works there are various types of intake structures depending upon the source of water uh, the intake works are classified as a lake intake reservoir intake river intake canal intake okay this is a figure showing the lake intake for uh, obtaining the water from lakes mostly submersible intakes are used these uh, intakes are constructed in the beds of the lake below the water level so as to draw the water in dry season also these uh, intakes have so many advantages so such as no obstruction to the navigation no longer from the floating bodies and no trouble uh, due to ice as these intakes uh, draw small uh, quantity of water they are not used uh, in the big water supply schemes or uh, on rivers or on reservoirs the main reason being that they are not easily approachable for a maintenance so you can see this is the lake water level recovery is provided this is the inlet pipe it is a submerged uh, type remember okay and uh, uh, this is the covering of the protection is there this is the river bed second is a river intake so you can here you can see the this is the bank of the river and the this is a high flood level this is a low water level paint stocks are provided with the screens okay then pumps are provided here this is a rising main which gives uh, takes the water to the water treatment plant the screen is provided to avoid the entry of debris or you can see entry of the suspended particles this is called as a sump well the water uh, from the rivers is always drawn from a upstream side because it is free from the contamination caused by the disposal of sewage in it it is circular masonry tower of 4 to 7 meter in the diameter constructed along the bank of the river at such place from where the required quantity of water can be obtained even in the dry period the water enters into the lower portion of the intake known as sump well from pain stocks now there are apart from this there are various types of configuration of the uh, intake wells so you can see the figure here the wet intake is there okay which is uh, associated with water uh, and you can see the water level here and uh, the by name itself you can see uh, understand uh, what is the nature of the uh, intake structure then <clears throat> you can see the dry intake tower is there okay where you can uh, uh, observe the water level here okay 
then uh, cylinder gates are provided here depending upon the configuration okay how you are uh, going to use for what purpose you are going to use uh, these various configurations are here then uh, movable intake is there depending upon the water level okay the intake level this intake structure can be uh, it is a mobile type or movable structure is there okay which can be uh, shifted from one place to another place. so you can see the rails are provided here so by providing a certain mechanism this can be lowered down or taken in the upward direction reservoir intake that we have discussed uh, which is uh, provided in the stagnant water where uh, the water is lifted then typical reservoir intake uh, constructing the dam itself so from the dam itself uh, the water is uh, withdrawn uh, directly by using the this kind of infrastructure so various uh, configurations are possible so we'll have to go through all these types of uh, configuration to understand the function of each then we'll move to the next one is the reservoir intake you can uh, this uh, you can refer the figure you can see that this particular intake pipes are provided at the different level okay so this is the uh, level of the water here okay this is the intake well hmm. so uh, figure shows the details of a reservoir intake it consists of a intake well uh, which is placed near the dam and connected to the top of dam by a foot bridge the intake pipes are located in different levels with a common vertical pipe. The walls of a intake pipes are operated from the top and they are installed in a wall room. Each of each intake pipe is provided with a bell mouth entry with perforations of a pipe screen on its uh, surface the outlet pipe is taken out uh, through the body of dam the outlet pipe is should be suitably supported the location of intake pipes at different levels ensures supply of water from the level of um, lower than the surface uh, level of water when the wall of an intake pipe is opened the water is drawn off from the reservoir to the outlet pipe through the common vertical pipe to reach up to the bottom of intake from the floor of wall room the steps should be provided at in the zigzag manner then canal uh, intake you can see you can observe this this particular boundary of a canal here this, this is the uh, water level okay then then uh, control room we can find out the control wall is there and this is a bell mouth uh, entry is provided here okay the figure shows the detail of canal intake uh, intake chamber is constructed in the canal section this results in the reduction of water uh, waterway which increases the velocity of flow uh, it is uh, therefore necessary to provide pitching on the downstream and upstream portion of the canal intake the entry of water in the intake chamber takes through the core screen and top of outlet pipe is provided with the fine screen the inlet of inlet to outlet pipe of a bell mouth shape uh, with perforation of a fine screen on its surface the outlet wall is operated from the top and controls the entry of water into the outlet pipe from uh, where it is taken to the treatment plant now outlet uh, outline of the intake structure intake uh, is a well uh, type masonry or concrete structure whose function is to provide uh, calm and still water free from floating matter uh, from the water quality schemes for the it is uh, its main purpose uh, is to provide <coughs> calm and still water conditions so that comparatively pure water can be uh, conveniently collected from the source while uh, selecting the site for the locating the intake uh, some points we have to remember intake uh, work should be purer water so that uh, treatment may uh, become less exhaustive this we have seen but uh, some more again uh, uh, thinking thinkings are there 
heavy water uh, current should not be strike the intake uh, directly this has to be achieved by the suitably shifting the proposed intake intake should not be located in a situation there where the sufficient quantity of water remains available under all circumstances site should be uh, well connected to the good type of roads site should be such that the intake uh, should be in a position to provide more water if required to do so it should not be located in the navigation channels uh, because water such uh, of such channels is generally polluted uh, due to floods in the uh, rivers flood waters should not be concentrated towards the intake it should not be located on uh, the curve of water uh, if there is no alternative then intake should be located on the outer bank uh, and not on the inner bank intake uh, should be located on upstream side of the town water uh, will not be contaminated on this side of due to sewage disposal of city in spite of all the efforts and uh, precautions problems may still uh, be there due to natural causes temperature seasonal variations quantity and quality uh, wind currents there etc may affect the stability and uh, safety of the intake works now while designing what point will you have to remember if you want to design the intake uh, following uh, points are to be remember intake uh, should be sufficiently heavy so that it may may not start floating due to a thrust of water also heavy intake uh, will not be washed away uh, by the heavy water currents all the forces which are exposed to work on intake should be carefully analyzed and uh, intake should be designed with designed to withstand the these forces the foundation of intake should be taken sufficiently deep uh, this will avoid overturning of the structure intake should not be constructed in navigation channel uh, as far as possible it is uh, if, if it has uh, to be constructed it should be uh, constructed away from the navigation channel remember the strainers uh, in the form of wire uh, mesh uh, should be provided uh, on the intake inlets this will avoid the entry of large floating objects and the fishes into the intake uh, intake uh, should be of such size it should be uh, located um, that sufficient quantity of water can be obtained from the intake in all circumstances okay this is the example that uh, which has already given to you uh, where we want to uh, design a well mold intake uh, for the this uh, one lakh persons so where we can uh, calculate uh, so you can uh, perform the calculations uh, yourself we have to calculate the discharge of water by daily discharge okay so according to the standards where it can be calculated the discharge is calculated for the area of the core skin uh, that can be calculated then uh, design of the bowl made entry that is also calculated by the the formulation it is only that we should must know the trigonometry here then design of the conduit right <coughs> so that is worked out with this uh, velocity uh, formula now uh, regarding some uh, final remarks on the transportation of the conveyance of this water the term conveyance of the transportation transportation refers to taking the water from source to purification purification plants and from treatment plant to consumers the water supply system broadly involves uh, transportation of water from the sources uh, to the area of consumption through free flow channels conduits pressure mains depending on the topography of land conveyance uh, may be uh, either free flow and a pressure conduits transmission of water accounts uh, for an appreciable part of the capital outlay and hence careful consideration for the economics is called uh, for the before deciding on the best mode of conveyance care should be uh, taken so that uh, there is no possibility of pollution from the surrounding areas 
if the source is at a higher level than the treatment plant the water can flow under gravity automatically similarly after necessary purification of water it uh, has to be conveyed to the consumers therefore for conveyance of water some sort of devices or structures are required the arrangement uh, may be uh, in the form of open channel aqueducts tunnels or pipes now rising main remember this technological term the delivery line uh, or pipeline carrying the water from pump to storage tank or in the elevated uh, ground okay is called as a rising main so from the intake to the public uh, or you can say the water treatment plant so the pipeline is there okay so that is called as a rising main now pipe uh, regarding the pipe so the pipe is a circular closed conduit used in the convey the water from one point to another under gravity under pressure usually pipes uh, follow the profile of the ground surface closely if the pipes do not uh, uh, run full they are called to flowing under gravity but uh, flow under gravity uh, is possible when if uh, pipe is given a definite longitudinal slope pipes running uh, full will be uh, said to running under pressure pipes are mostly made up of materials like uh, cast iron wrought iron rcc asbestos cement plastic timber etc so uh, this is sufficient information regarding the conveyance of water and transportation of water so uh, in the coming lectures now we are focusing on the various units of the water treatment plant uh, where we are purifying the water so that's all uh, from today's session thank you everyone uh, for joining the session